Roots of the Science podcast with your girl and with an E. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Root of the Science podcast with your girl and with an E. I'm excited to announce that this episode is proudly brought to you by Resound Desire and APVA. If you are new and listener, welcome. It's so great to have you here. And to my regular listeners, thank you for returning. Be sure to check out the show notes for all the information on our social media pages so that you can stay up to date and notified when a new episode is live. And most importantly, there is a PayPal link in the show notes that will help you support the show. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce my guest, Guana Jocelyn Akar from Cameroon. Guana is a third-year computer engineering student and will be chatting about her passions and side hustles. We'll also discuss the root of her interest in science, her future aspirations, and a project she co-developed called Smart Security Lighting System. It helps raise an alarm when there's an intruder at night in people's homes. So tune in for this and so much more. Let's go. Hi, Guana. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Anne. Thank you for bringing me to your show. It is a pleasure to be here today. It is a pleasure to have you onto the show. Okay, so first things first, let's get an introduction. Who is Guana? Where are you from? And just briefly, where are you based? Okay, my name is Guana Juslin. I am a Cameroonian. I currently live in Cameroon, precisely in the southwest region of Cameroon in Boya. So I am an affiliate marketer, a digital marketer, a graphic designer, and currently a third year computer engineering student at the University of Boya, under the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, specialized in networking. Okay, fantastic. Some really exciting stuff. Before we get into the sciences, you mentioned that you are a graphic designer, a typist, or your other roles. And in your graphic design, you also said that you help improve brand identities of businesses. So can you tell us briefly about some of these roles and how you actually got involved in doing this work? Okay, first of all, 
what prompted me to to become or to learn graphic designing my hobbies are photography i love taking a lot of pictures so i also love colors so i found fun combining colors so i decided to learn this as a side hustle for me to get money mm. also as a skill to couple it with my engineering because i also have a a passion in ui and ux design so graphic designing is all about communication a means of communication visual communication where you combine shapes images pictures to convey an intended message to an audience so mm. there are different disciplines of graphic design some of those disciplines advertisement design logo design web design and so on so i mean mention of branding uh-huh. so branding here yeah, is uh, it is the phase in which an audience will recognize a businessman it is what in fact branding is a logo uh-huh. it is the logo of a businessman so branding here yeah, it is the the unique thing about a business that it is a unique thing about a business that when an audience sees you, you know the, the the individual will know that it is this yes business it is this businessman's own so you have to have a consistency in your business maybe your 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 logo is made up of some primary colors like red and yellow uh-huh. you should make sure that there should be consistency in your design that is in any of your designs whether in the marketing department flyer any other thing if you have those unique colors from the main design which is your logo that shows your brand mm. that 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 indicates to an audience that every time they see this color or this kind of images it shows that this is from your company yeah that makes sense that makes a lot of sense i think when you think of all the global brands off the top of my head coca cola you think red automatically and you think of how they write things so that's very true i wanted to ask you how long have you been doing this work the side hustle okay i've been doing this for this will be making 5 months 5 months i just started learning it Okay. Uh, in 2023 in September. Mhm. Oh, okay. So it's still something in the infancy. In the infancy and of course the more you do it the better the the better you get doing this. Okay. You mentioned though that you always been this creative type of person. You mentioned that you like photography, etc. Have you always been this type of creative person because of course with brand design and graphic design you have to be very creative, right? Yes, I've I've always been a creative person. But the issue I had was I had let me say I can picture something in my mind. um the issue i had was i didn't have the devices to do that at first i used to do graphic design just using my mobile phone i downloaded some softwares for it which to become a good graphic designer you cannot depend only on your mobile phone so when i got my pc so that tends to improve my level of design You've obviously decided that this is something that you want to focus on and I honestly wish you all of the best in this new endeavor of yours. Now let's find out about, you know, your journey into science, right? Was this something that you always knew you wanted to do? How did this come about? How did you get into science? Okay, first of all, in my junior in my junior years in secondary school, like in the lower classes like form 1, I didn't know anything about sciences. So, it was depending now on my teachers to select it because in my school, the the teachers tend to select the most intelligent students to go to the sciences and maybe the less intelligent students or students who are not capable enough and they send them to the arts background 
So mm. because I was performing better in most of the science subjects like mathematics, physics, just say chemistry, I was selected to move to the science subjects. Then my brain was still naive and small. When I got <laughs> to form five, that was when that was when I got an open brain. <laughs> yeah, a seminar was held in my school. Yeah, a seminar was held in my school when I was in form five. Uh, uh, the team of the se- of the seminar was encouraging more women into STEM. Mm. I was encouraged by one of the speakers. There were five speakers, but there was one speaker who was a lady. She was young, she was energetic, and she was already a computer engineer. So she said a lot of things that did that inspired me so, so much. Mm. And coupled with the fact that I'm good in the science subject, I'm not really, really, in fact, I perform averagely in the arts. I was good in mathematics, in physics, in computer science, in chemistry. Mm. So then the root, uh, that was the beginning of my that was when I decided that no, I have a, I have to take it to pick up a few in science. Mm-hmm. That was my secondary school life. So from there, I wrote my O levels. I went in for ten papers. I had all the ten. I went to high school. So now in high school, you have to decide: Are you going to the arts department or to the science department? So since I was already good, my teachers had, de- had detected that I'm good in the sciences. And I myself too, I noticed and I saw that I'm better. I'm even, I'm excellent in the science subjects. So I decided to pick up a science series in the, in the high school, which was physics, mathematics, further mathematics, computer science, and computer science and the computer science, those were five subjects. So that was high school for me when I attended high school for two years and I wrote the advanced level, which I made it in five papers. So then I was a little bit confused. What career path am I going to take as as I'm moving to the university? So I was opportune to get in touch with some elderly people. I called a mentor that spoke to me, coached me, that opened my brain on a lot of things and and from there from what they said and also from my research i made a, a lot of researches about the different fields in science and science and so i decided to pick up computer engineering as a career so first of all here in cameroon for mm-hmm. you to attend a professional school to study computer engineering in a professional school you have to go through a competitive entrance exam okay so that i went in for i succeeded that was how i found myself i found myself admitted to the professional school called faculty of engineering and technology under the university of buya mm. so that was my first year into and to the field of engineering the first year of my university it was not easy yes i can it imagine i had some difficult I had some, I had some, I had difficulties in programming. I had diffic- difficulties in managing my time. I had difficulties in, in adapting, t- adapting to the school system. Mm. So, in, so in my first year, I had a lot of difficulties understanding programming, adapting to the system because in the high school. My years in the high school, I know that we go to school from morning to evening. Your your parents, they give you everything, they protect you. But when I went to university, I had to move away from my parents. So adapting to the lifestyle of taking care of yourself, going for lectures from morning to evening, managing everything on your own. So I had really some difficulties mm. with doing that for my first year and understanding some courses. But with the advice to a mentor that I, I had an opportunity to come in contact with, and that is Miss Kate. Mm. She spoke to me a lot. She she spoke to me about a lot of things. She advised me on how to take things easy and steadily. That I should be consistent. That even if it is tough, I shouldn't give up. Mm. So that was when I started to get some courage to keep on moving. 
And my second year in the engineering field, I got used to, to the system. I knew how the lecture, lectures, the, the settings, in, they set exams. So when the lecturer gives the course outline, I tend to do further research in making things easy for me. So I think my grade improved from in the second year better than that of the first year. And currently now I'm in my third, I'm in my third year mm. and everything is going better and better. And while in the university, I attended a lot of things. It gave me, I joined some organizations that, that showed me opportunities that I could connect and engage with people through boot camps, through coding camps, coding competitions. So those are some of the things that um, I was first fortunate to do while in the university. Mm. That's great. That's great. I love I love how you spoke. You've been so honest about your journey, in particular, about how that transition from coming from university to sorry coming from a high school to a university setting and you know moving away from home and how all of those things also transcend to your performance and i love the fact that you also have people who you can rely on mentors like kate shout out to kate because she's the one who actually connected us as well so to have people like that who can who can who can who can tell you to hold on who are ahead and they understand what you're going through and sometimes you know you can sit by yourself and you think oh my goodness this is so horrible and you're sitting in a corner without getting any assistance while they can be people who can actually help you so it's always so good to to have people like that so i'm interested actually i wanted to find out you're saying that you're doing computer engineering right what exactly yes. does that mean i've never i've i've heard of engineering like and i'm sure others who are listening they know of mechanical engineering or chemical engineering and when you think of computer i don't know i think of i just think of pure computer sciences for example so i've never heard computer engineering what exactly do you do and what is that? Okay, computer computer engineering, when you hear of computer engineering, it does not just mean that you study just computer. It is a combination of science, it is a combination of mathematics, physics, and computer science that made up computer engineering. Mm. Yes. So the main thing we, we study in school is, is physics, mathematics, and computer science. How to use the knowledge that we gain in school to develop things that will be helpful to our society. Computer engineering has three main branches. Mm -hmm. We have software engineering, we have telecom engineering, and we have network engineering. Where okay. under each of those sub-branches, you can specialize, you can pick up a specialty under it. There's so many of them under each of it. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. You see, I learned something new today and I'm sure because when I was like, ah, oh, computer engineering. So which one do you like in terms of those three subs subsets? Which ones do you like? Because of course you have to have a favorite today. Yeah, that is network. Mm -hmm. and, and what I'm exactly do you yes go ahead i'm specializing to be a network administrator mm -hmm. and what does that mean okay this is being the, the for example maybe there exists a company they have so many many computers mm -hmm. they they're supposed to be a central computer known as the, the server that controls all the activities that, that monitors and controls all the activities of other computers in the network. Should in case there is a network for a person they are going to call to come and configure maybe routers or switches to improve the network is the network administrator. So that's oh. what the network administrator does in the company. Oh, yes. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. No, interesting, interesting work, Guana. That's, that's really exciting. So apart from that, also, apart from your studies, you've also developed, or rather you're working on a project 
on a smart security lightning system which helps raise the alarm when there's an intruder at night in people's homes when installed this is quite interesting tell me more about this and how this came about okay a smart security lighting system is a system that is controlled remotely with connected devices so the main goal of this project was to design implement implement and test an affordable system that can be used can be used to detect intruders in a street or in a home during the night time so this system the main importance of it is to is to is to to indicate to a house owner or to a business owner that there exists someone outside so we built this this system is built as a hard way as a hard way we made use of so many things we made use of, of sensors these sensors collects physical physical events physical events could be a person passing by and convert these physical events now into what electrical signals which these signals now will be related to the server and this will cause the security bulb to turn on whenever there is a physical event which is a person passing by so uh, we discovered that this with this system there will be a lot of energy wasted wasted waste wastage if we allow the system to work both in the daytime and in the night time so we made use of light dependent resistors that this system will work only at night. It works only when there is darkness. That is when places, for example, in the street, when places are dark. If, if somebody is approaching, the sensor should be able to detect within a distance of 150 meters that there exists a physical event coming. Convert this to electrical signal and, and relay it to the server to turn the light on this is automatic and the automatic the uh, the making it automatic we made use of programming now you see computer engineering now comes in and knowledge of programming now comes in we program this mm -hmm. on a microcontroller so that it should be automatic it should not be as if when you detect a sense so maybe you tell somebody that go and on the light there's somebody there we could so now this bulb, it could either be a bulb or an alarm. That when it detects that it's an intruder, the alarm rings to alert the owner or the owner owner to owner that there is someone passing by. There's someone, maybe the person could be a thief, since it occurs just in the night. So that was it for the project. That's so interesting and very important work. Are you working on this alone? or you're working with other people? No, I worked in a, in a team of four. Oh, okay. No, that's so interesting. So has is this something that you would like to be rolled out to be available to the public in the future? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. we would love that it should be available to the public in the future. Mm -hmm that's uh, that's so cool okay yeah. so speaking of the future you are very young bright intelligent african woman in the sciences where do you see yourself in the future after you've completed this what is the vision for yourself okay after completing my my previous degrees i wish to go further into masters so that I am a, a specialist in network administration. And also, I hope to, to lead or encourage many other younger people who have interest in STEM to pick up a career in STEM. Because mm. from my own feeling, I feel that the world is becoming more digital. And Africa as a whole don't seem to embrace it. There are so many youths who are of my age, who are younger than me, who are even older than me, that don't even know how to manipulate an Android phone well. 
so i wish to bring this term closer to everybody right from like i wish to go and talk even to the junior ones who are in primary school in secondary school in high school about STEM as a whole. And I also wish to encourage parents to expose their children to technology by buying their children toys, toys, electric toys, or phones, computers, and the rest. So one of the things we aspire as we should be also a speaker that will, will lead people and encourage people to join STEM. exciting and definitely very important you're right that the world is becoming very digital and it's important to get young people or just people in general to be more aware of the sciences and the technology and i think just in general with the way you are motivated and determined you are definitely definitely gonna get there you know it's been so lovely to have you on the show i really really appreciated you coming on and i wish you all of the best in your completion of your degree all of your other side hustle projects and also the, all of your goals and dreams for the future thank you so much and for having me on your show it's, it's such a pleasure a- It's also a pleasure to have you on and to everybody else who's listening. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of the Root of the Science podcast with your girl and with an E. Until next time, goodbye. of the science podcast with your girl and